this is Mike from Minimal 3DP and today I'm doing a release notes video on the latest release of Orca Slicer version 1.9. So let's go ahead and get started. So this week the latest version of Orca Slicer 1.9 has dropped. If you're interested in installing Orca Slicer and using it, I have a video series on that linked above. Feel free to take a look. Something to note with this latest version is if you've used the text embossment features in previous versions of Orca Slicer, although they'll be available in version 1.9, they'll no longer be editable. You want to take a look at that and think a little bit before you go ahead and install this latest version. So if you're using the embossment features, particularly if you need to go back and edit your models, again, this install might not be for you. Now, keep in mind too, that going forward, you're probably not going to be able to use those features again. So th this is a problem. Now, it looks like Worker Slicer now supports multiple beds. That's great. And there's some code there to handle what your offset needs to be if you're changing beds. So that's awesome. They have some improvements when it comes to rendering models. Looks like we have a lot of different bug fixes. So that's really good. You need to take a look through those. They've also added some printer profiles and changed some of the profiles. So again, depending on what you're using, you want to take a look at how things are set up to make sure you're using any of the latest changes. It looks like looking through here, they did make some changes to the default profiles for Creality. So you might want to compare the default Creality profiles with what you've used and set up. Now, looking, there's also some additional translations here. And let's go back and look at some of the new features. Now, some of the new features is there's a new smooth base mode. And you've noticed that particularly some of the older versions of Prusa Slicer and Orca Slicer had issues with base mode. They're borrowing some ideas from Cura. And so hopefully this will improve base mode for Orca Slicer. Looks like they've included Prusa Slicer's measures and cut features, which are pretty awesome. And if you look at the image here, basically what's going on, if you cut a model now, you can actually have little connector, connections connect the model back together. So that's really awesome. There's some internal parameter changes and some changes on how you can order the perimeter. Filament length per line type is now listed. Cancel objects is now supported. Now there's an alternate extra wall feature. This could help with stronger prints, possibly. You can now move the sidebar around, which is a great quality of life feature. There's some changes to allow on Elegoo and Quiddy printers to go the thumbnail for your print. There's now the ability to rotate your STLs automatically as you import them. There's now overviews for custom G code like pause and change filaments. There's a new model in here, which is the little Stanford bunny. You can now emit limits to G code. There's some fixes here and some added gizmos. There's some fuzzy skin fixes. The pressure advanced test has been updated. There's really some awesome new changes here. As I mentioned previously, there's lots of bug fixes, other small changes. What I would recommend is this really looks like an update that would be great to install. Well, I'd recommend taking a look. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions or comments or I missed a feature here, please let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a good day. This Bye. is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.